When it comes to penetration testing, there's different types of penetration testing uh, for the various things that need to be tested. I'll start with segmentation checks. Segmentation checks didn't always exist as part of the penetration testing toolbox, but it was found that it's a very needed element. And that simply means that when you're looking at your environment internally and you have a segment that has nothing to do with cardholder data or secure storage, and you have another segment that does, in the past, years back, they would just say, it's not connected, so don't worry about it. But they found through some pretty high profile breaches that you can't assume anything. So segmentation checks simply exist to prove there's no connectivity, that there's either firewall rules or even a physical air gap, that there is no physical connectivity allowed. There's also internal penetration testing, which is testing usually the network and configuration of connectivity between two segments. You need to test that to determine if the controls in place are adequate to prevent escalation of privileges. You only want the functionality to exist that's needed for your business purposes. You can't leave things wide open between segments. There's external network layer penetration testing, which is basically testing the configuration of your firewalls and your devices to make sure that things are up to date, software's up to date, configurations are, are proper, you don't have ports open to the public that should not be open. Uh, then we get to application layer testing, and that's not testing devices or configurations, it's testing the code. Now, you don't have to test out of the box solutions that you buy, say QuickBooks or something like that, or your operating system. Uh, you have to test the code that was specifically put in place for you, developed by you or put in place for you by others. And application layer testing is uh, a beefier, more time consuming piece of the element because we're, we're looking for flaws in the code and ways to exploit it. Those are the types of penetration testing that occur and as far as who needs to be tested, it's anybody that has a concern about the security of their environment, which has connectivity to the outside. For PCI, the requirements are that you do both external and internal penetration testing as well as segmentation checks. And we found that PCI is a great standard to apply to pretty much every other standard. PCI is more defined and has greater how-tos than some other standards. Other standards often talk about use adequate testing measures to assure security, whereas with PCI it talks about a lot more specifics. So if you're testing uh, a realm that's not PCI, go ahead and look at the standards that PCI requires in Requirements 11.3 and apply that to that environment. Uh, outside of that, talk to your assessor if you have one and talk to them about the standards they're expecting.